Hey, it's Jason from Voice Acting 101. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to check your noise floor. Now, if you're not sure what noise floor is, it's basically the amount of unwanted noise in your voiceover recordings. It can be a hum, a hiss, or even like a low rumble in the background. Sometimes you can see it in the waveform, but other times it's just not as obvious, so it's harder to detect. Uh, and listening for noise isn't always reliable because even if your room sounds quiet, you may not hear the noise depending on your own hearing or the way that you're listening to it. Maybe, you're, maybe you've got headphones on or maybe speakers and it's just uh, you're not able to pick it up as easily. Or maybe the room is quiet, but noise is still being introduced somewhere between your microphone and the computer. It can get introduced with equipment, but no matter where the noise is coming from, you can't record high quality voiceovers if your noise floor is too high. And that's why testing your noise floor is one of the first things that I check when I evaluate voiceover recordings. So here's how you can do it yourself. Now for this, I'm gonna be using Adobe Audition, but you can use Audacity, you can use Reaper, pretty much any other recording software out there, it's gonna work. The buttons may look just a little bit different. But uh, what you wanna do is open up a, uh, your recording software and you're gonna go ahead and start recording and you wanna make sure that your gain levels are coming up around minus six or minus five when you're speaking at a normal volume, a normal, uh, uh, speaking voice and then you just need a couple seconds of that and we're then we're going to do a few seconds of silence okay so that's good enough right there so i'm going to go ahead and stop that and like i said sometimes you can see uh like noise in the waveform i don't see any in this one uh, but what we want to do now that we've got uh, a few seconds of speaking and then a few seconds of silence, what we're going to do, we're going to highlight the whole thing. We're going to go up to effects, amplitude and compression, and we're going to normalize it. And what we're going to do, we're going to normalize it to zero decibels. And the reason that we do this is because uh, we want it to be accurate. So this is pretty much as high as this voiceover would ever be amplified to. And so that's what it that's what we did right there. We've amplified it or normalized the entire waveform so that the peak goes up to zero. And it looks like that is the peak right there that hits the zero mark. Uh, but it moves everything else up. Because if we didn't do this, technically you could just turn your gain way down and you would have a, a low recording volume for your voice. And then it would make it look like your noise floor is quiet. But this way we are amplifying it up so that that peak gets to zero when we normalize it. All right, so now that we've done that, we wanna go ahead over to the silent section or as, you know what we recorded as silent. And then we're gonna go up to window, amplitude statistics. I'm gonna back out just a little bit, highlight that uh, silence area, and we're gonna go ahead and scan the selection. And so you can see the peak amplitude in the quiet section is minus 72 decibels right there. So that's good. You want it to be minus 50, minus 60 somewhere. Uh, minus 70 is even better. So you just want it to be as quiet as possible in your recording, and that way uh, you're going to have the highest quality recording possible. So that is uh, the way to test it and to figure out what your noise floor is. I'm going to jump over to a sample that someone sent me uh, recently just to kind of show you uh, another another reading, another test of it. So this one you can see that the, uh, the level is quieter than what it was when I first recorded mine. I'm going to go ahead and undo the normalize and so you can see my levels that were coming up uh, around like minus five minus six where their levels um, it would probably be like minus 12 right around there minus 12. so still either way we still have to normalize it so we're going to go ahead and normalize the whole thing again we're going to bring it up to zero just like that so you can see the the peak goes up to zero and you can see it in this one you can see all the noise that's in there and there's even some mouth clicks in and just breathing and stuff in there. So that's the other thing. When you're recording the, the silence, you want to make sure you're not moving papers or uh, breathing heavily into the microphone. You want it to be as quiet as possible in the uh, studio while you're doing that, that silent part of the recording. All right, so now we've got that. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight it, and I'll go ahead and scan this section. And so you can see this studio comes in at minus 40 decibels right there. So again, ideally we would be like minus 50, minus 60. That would be a pretty quiet recording environment for voiceover. All right, so I hope that helps you test your noise floor and you can see whether it's low enough for recording high quality voiceover. And like I mentioned, uh, the noise floor is just one of the first things you wanna get right 
to record that high quality uh, voiceover. If you want to know what to check next, you can grab my free guide covering the five steps to voiceover success. You can download that at voiceacting101.com slash get started. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope it helped you. Have a great day.